functional forms. This is the another functional form which we are going to do today. How to measure growth rates, log lin model. Uh, so this is this model is generally used to measure growth rates. So we'll say that there is an initial value of y, and uh, this is growing at the rate r, and we are calculating it for time period t. I mean, for these many time periods, uh, and this is going to give me the value y t, right? Uh, so let's say if time period would have been just one, then you could have written it like y naught plus r y naught, something like this. And when it is going to grow over different time periods, then you're going to, I mean, you're going to, when this is going to grow over uh, quite a lot of periods, then you'll be using t in this fashion. Fair enough. So you have, you can take log of both the sides, log of it is equal to log of uh, y naught plus t log of one plus r. We can write it like this. Okay, very well. So say <clears throat> beta one is log of y naught. And uh, beta two is log of one plus r, mm -hmm. like this. So I can write this model as log of y t <clears throat> equals to beta one plus beta two t plus u, mm -hmm. like this, u t or whatever you want to write. like this. So how do we interpret this beta 2? That's, that's the question. Well, this is, this is what my log y is. So beta 2, so wherever log is there and we want to find out the changes, that is a relative change. With wherever there is no log, it is the uh, absolute change, right? So beta 2 is telling me the relative change in y due to the absolute change in x. Change in y due to the absolute change in x, right? I can also write this thing in this way beta 2. So relative change in y could be written as delta y upon y. And absolute change in x could be written, could be written as delta x. You can write like this. So if I want to write this as the percentage change in y, I need to multiply this with 100. Right? So and if I multiply this with 100, then I have to multiply this with 100 also. So if I multiply both the sides by 100, I get this, right? So beta two into 100 is equal to percentage change in y upon delta x like this. Huh? So you understood this. So if I want to say what is the percentage change in y, I just need to multiply beta 2 into 100 into delta x. Beta 2 into 100 into delta x. This is what I want to do. So if I have, let us say, this guy, expenditure on durable goods and services, I have estimated this equation means when I say I have estimated this equation, means your book has estimated this. And 0.0, A to T, like this. Right. So T is a time period. 
so how do we interpret this over the time over a given period or over the time expenditure on durable goods and services expenditure on durable goods have increased by how much beta 2 into 100 so time period is i mean it is moving from t equals to 1 to t equals to 2 so that is like this so over a period of time expenditure on durables have increased at the rate of beta 2 into 100 which is what 0.082 into 100 which is what 8.2% 8.2 percent. You with me? 8.2 percent. And this t is just from one time period to the another time period. So this is like this. Uh, so when you are interpreting, when you have log as the dependent variable and uh, this guy as the independent variable without log as the independent variable, then you need to while interpreting beta two, you have to multiply that beta two with hundred. That is the only thing. which for which you have to be careful while interpreting the logland model one thing other thing is that the there is this what this is what you have got is the instantaneous rate of growth right for for that particular time period this is what the instantaneous rate of growth is you can also find something which is called <clears throat> the compound rate of growth compound rate of growth is beta you have written beta 2 as what log of 1 plus r na so i need to get the value of r first so i'll do what nt log beta 2 equals to nt log log of 1 plus r right so what will that be this will be just 1 plus r and this is nt log beta 2 So what is R? That is n t log beta two minus one. It means n t log of this guy zero point zero eight two minus one. And when you do that, you actually get zero point zero eight five. So. again for the compound rate of growth you need to multiply this value with 100 and that will be 8.5% so the compound rate of growth is 8.5% while uh, your instantaneous rate of growth is 8.2% so this is what the compound rate of growth is this is what is instantaneous rate of growth is I'll use a different thing this is what the instantaneous rate of growth is right so this is what i wanted to do in this recording thank you beta